Cruise News Time. Well, the CDC and the administration have said very publicly that they believe that cruises from U.S. ports uh, could happen by midsummer. And one cruise exec, Richard Fain, well, he he concurs. But man, it's been quiet lately, and and, and time is running out. Can cruising restart from the U.S. in the summer of 2021? And there's another country that's got me super jealous. Let's talk about it. Hey, 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 what's up, everybody? Welcome back to La Lida Loca. I'm your host, Tony, here with the latest cruise news updates. Well, today's update, we are going to go back and kind of pull together all of the pieces that we know about the cruise restart. We'll revisit what the administration has said. We'll revisit what the CDC has said. We'll revisit what CLIA and the cruise lines have said. And then we'll take a look at another country that's also, they also have a four-phase approach to the restart of cruising. And, and I'll tell you how they're doing. And the big goal of the show is to really scratch our head and say, could cruising restart by midsummer from the US. First, let's talk about the country I am jealous of. Of course, I am talking about the UK. They formally published, put out to the public their framework, their guidance for the restart of cruising. Their roadmap, a lot more simple than what we've seen with the conditional sale order, four phases. Roadmap steps one and two from the 8th of March, uh, do not allow any cruise activity in the country. So no domestic cruises and no international cruises. Now their roadmap step three kicks in on May the 17th and it says there will only be cruises allowed to sell to and from ports in the UK. Cruises are allowed to sell outside the UK waters, but can only make stop in the UK's common travel area, Jersey, Guernsey, Isle of Man, and Ireland. Another big part of step three is that the capacity for cruise ships will be limited to 1,000 passengers. You don't have to count the crew in that. 1,000 passengers or 50% of the capacity of the cruise ship, whichever one is smaller. We talked about that the other day. You might have a cruise ship that can handle 1,500 people, but because of that rule, they could only take 750 passengers. Again, you don't count the crew members. And this is all about limiting uh, social contact. This is still the idea of physical distancing. Now, June the 21st, this is when it gets really sexy in the UK. During step four, the government hopes that the country has made enough steps in its vaccination process to remove all legal limits on social contact. This includes lifting capacity limits for domestic cruises. You get to phase four, the UK government are saying, look, we feel cool with social gathering because of our vaccination program and the legal requirement to, for masking, the legal requirement for physical distancing, the legal requirement for capacity reduction is gone. They can have a cruise at full capacity and if they don't want to have mask and social distancing, that won't have to be included in their protocol. Now, again, this is just for domestic cruises but there will be a point in this process where the UK opens up travel to international travelers. There will be a point where I could fly from the United States to the UK to get on a cruise. They got a different system for that. It's going to parallel the restart of all international travel for the UK. So as UK opens up all forms of international travel, cruising will be included with other forms of travel. How about that? And then uh, they will color code countries based on their response to COVID, the COVID risk. There'll be a green system, a yellow system, or red system. And depending where your country is in that color coded system, you're going to have to go through some steps to go into the UK, uh, testing, quarantine, all kinds of stuff like that. But if you're from a country that's deemed to be green, once international travel opens, you'll be able to fly to the UK and get on a cruise ship. That, that possibly doesn't have social distancing and masking. And all of that starts legit at the beginning of summer. Summer starts June the 20th. Uh, their stage four takes place on June the 21st. So color me impressed. It looks like the UK has a good plan in place to get cruising restarted. Before we talk about the restart of cruising in the US, let me quickly invite you to subscribe to this YouTube channel. If you like staying up to date with everything that's going on in that cruise life, please consider subscribing with the notification bell on. 
That way you don't miss out on any of these episodes. Well, there's a, a, a whirlwind of things going on in the U.S., even though it's been very quiet. So let's recap where we have been. There have been public statements from the CDC. There's been public statements from the Transportation Secretary. There's been public statements from the White House uh, specifically about cruising and specifically about this idea that cruising could start midsummer from U.S. ports. Now, we've also heard from CLIA. We've also heard from leaders from cruise lines, Richard Fain specifically saying, yeah, that uh, that mid-summer timeline, that seems workable to me. And so really, unless everybody's going to uh, eat crow, unless everybody is going to say, yeah, that stuff we said about mid-summer, uh, it ain't going to happen, then I, I got to assume that they're working toward that date. Now, what I know for sure is on the 12th of April, the CDC met with the cruise line leaders. The information uh, that I understand from that meeting is that for one of the very first times, the cruise industry was able to present its new safety data, data that, that that's based on what's been going on with cruising around the world, not based on old early 2020 data. And there was a, an agreement is what it sounds like, and, but, but with some important takeaways. One of the takeaways, the cruise lines say, look, we're happy to work with the CDC, seemingly the CDC saying they're going to work with the cruise lines, but they need something concrete by, by May so that they can understand whether we can really get to this midsummer restart. And so there's only a few days left in April. So while last week was quiet, I anticipate that we will hear something this week, but what we want to hear is really something like we've seen in the UK, something that indicates that there is a, a clear path to cruising by midsummer. Now let's just crunch the numbers for a second. Summer runs from June the 20th to September the 22nd. So if, if you want to think of midsummer, that's going to be late July, early August. Now what we know for sure is that cruise lines, uh, we'll take Frank Del Rio, the CEO for Norwegian Cruise Line. He said earlier this year that if you give me the green light, then I can get a cruise ship ready in 90 days, and then I can get one cruise ship ready uh, a week after that. And so, and so 90 90 days from today is July the 20th. July the 20th is also significant because it's around that time that we should be seeing the the next chance for the public health declaration to expire. And of course, the public health declaration really points us to the, the main cause of all this, and it's COVID. How are we doing with COVID? If you look at the language in the UK framework, it is all about uh, getting back to a place where people can gather together socially. I looked at their numbers. They, they have about 2,000, uh, 2,200 cases cases a day. Their population is 66 million. Uh, we have about 52,000 uh, cases a day right now. It's kind of trending down a little bit, which is good. 330 million people in the United States. And so if you do the percentages on that, uh, United States a little worse off right now than the UK. But the idea that as time passes and more people get vaccinated, that we're going to be in a better place with COVID. That's, that's at least the posturing of these health systems in the UK and the health leaders here in the U.S. Uh, hanging their hat on vaccination as the thing that returns us to normalcy. And uh, if that is true for life, that will also be true for cruising. I got two simple questions. Number one, are you excited for the UK? A little bit jealous. I, I'm, I'm both. I'm excited and jealous. And then number two, will the administration and the CDC and the White House and, and, and cruise lines uh, who have talked about restarting cruising in midsummer 2021, uh, will, will that come to be or will they have to eat their words? leave a comment below. Thank you so much for checking out the show today. Hope you enjoyed it. Show your support hitting the like button. Watch this video that YouTube recommends. This is Tony with La Lido Loca and until the next time, we'll see you on the Lido. Bye.